Dear students, Namaskar. I hope that you all must be in sound health and must be continuing your studies with great zeal and enthusiasm. Today, we are going to learn Chapter 18 of Science of Class 7, Wastewater Story. First of all, let us recall what we already know. From where do we get water? What are the different uses of water? Are we polluting water while using it? Why should we not pollute water? What we are going to learn today. Availability of water. What is sewage? Water freshens up an eventful journey. Wastewater treatment plant. Sanitation and disease. Wastewater story. Children, do you know that clean water that is fit for use is unfortunately not available to all? It has been reported that more than 1 billion of people have no access to safe drinking water. This accounts for a large number of water-related diseases and even deaths. The increasing scarcity of fresh water is due to population growth, pollution, industrial development, mismanagement and other factors. Realizing the urgency of the situation on the World Water Day on 22nd March 2005, the General Assembly of the United Nations proclaimed the period 2005 to 2015 as the International Decade for Action on Water for Life. All efforts made during this decade aim to reduce by half the number of people who do not have access to safe drinking water. What is sewage? Sewage is wastewater released by homes, industries, hospitals, offices and other users. Sewage is a liquid waste. Most of it is water which has dissolved and suspended impurities. We know that sewage is a complex mixture containing suspended solids, organic and inorganic impurities, nutrients, saprophytes and disease-causing bacteria and other microbes. Sewage include the following kind of pollutants. The first category of pollutants is organic impurities like human feces, animal waste, oil, urea, pesticides, herbicides, fruit and vegetable waste, etc. Inorganic impurities like nitrates, phosphates and metals. It also includes nutrients like phosphorus and nitrogen. Sewage may contain bacteria such as Vibrio cholerae which causes cholera and Salmonella paratyphi which causes typhoid. It may also include other microbes such as protozoans which cause dysentery. Water freshens up an eventful journey. In a home or a public building, generally one set of pipes brings clean water and another set of pipes takes away waste water. We would see a network of big and small pipes called sewers forming the sewerage. It is like a transport system that carries sewage from the point of being produced to the point of disposal that is treatment plant. Manholes are located at every 50 meter to 60 meter in the sewerage at the junction of two or more sewers and at points where there is a change in direction. Wastewater Treatment Plant To know about treatment of polluted water, let us perform an activity. It will help you understand the processes that take place at the wastewater treatment plant. Divide yourself into groups to perform this activity. Record observations at each stage. 
Fill a large glass jar 3 by 4 full of water. Add some dirty organic matter such as grass pieces or orange peels, a small amount of detergent and a few drops of an ink or any color. Cap the jar, shake it well and let the mixture stand in the sun for two days. After two days, shake the mixture and pour a small sample into test tube. Label this tube before treatment sample 1. How does it smell? Use an aerator from an aquarium to bubble air through the sample in the glass jar. Allow several hours for aeration. Leave the aerator attached overnight. If you do not have an aerator, use a mechanical stirrer or a mixer. You may have to stir it several times. The next day, when aeration is complete, pour another sample into a second test tube. Label it as after aeration sample 2. Fold a piece of filter paper to form a cone. Wet the paper with tap water and then insert the cone in a funnel. Mount the funnel on a support. Place layers of sand, fine gravel and finally medium gravel in the funnel. Pour the remaining aerated liquid through the filter into the beakers. Do not allow the liquid to spill over to filter. If the filtered liquid is not clear, filter it a few times till you get clear water. Pour a sample of the filtered water into a third test tube labeled filtered sample 3. Pour another sample of the filtered water into a fourth test tube. Add a small piece of a chlorine tablet. Mix well until the water is clear. Label the test tube chlorinated sample 4. Observe carefully the samples in all the test tubes. Do not taste, just smell them. Now answer the following questions. What changes did you observe in the appearance of the liquid after aeration? Did aeration change the odor? What was removed by the sand filter? Did chlorine remove the color? Did chlorine have an odor? Was it worse than that of the wastewater? Wastewater treatment plant Treatment of wastewater involves physical, chemical and biological processes which remove physical, chemical and biological matter that contaminates the wastewater. Wastewater is passed through bar screens. Large objects like rags, sticks, cans, plastic packets, napkins are removed. Water then goes to a grit and sand removal tank. The speed of the incoming wastewater is decreased to allow sand, grit and pebbles to settle down. The water is then allowed to settle in a large tank which is sloped towards the middle. Solids like feces settle at the bottom and are removed with a scraper. This is the sludge. The sludge is transferred to a separate tank where it is decomposed by the anaerobic bacteria. The biogas produced in the process can be used as fuel or can be used to produce electricity. A skimmer removes the floatable solids like oil and grease. Water so cleared is called clarified water. Air is pumped into the clarified water to help aerobic bacteria to grow. Bacteria consume human waste food waste, soaps and other unwanted matter still remaining in clarified water. The activated sludge is about 97% water. The water is removed by sand drying beds 
or machines. Dried sludge is used as manure, returning organic matter and nutrients to the soil. The treated water has a very low level of organic material and suspended matter. It is discharged into a sea, a river or into the ground. Nature cleans it up further. Sometimes it may be necessary to disinfect water with chemicals like chlorine and ozone before releasing it into the distribution system. Sanitation and Disease Poor sanitation and contaminated drinking water is the cause of a large number of diseases. Untreated human excreta is a health hazard. It may cause water pollution and soil pollution. Both the surface water and ground water get polluted. Ground water is a source of water for wells, tube wells, springs and many rivers. Thus, it becomes the most common route for waterborne diseases. They include cholera, typhoid, polio, meningitis, hepatitis and dysentery. Better housekeeping practices One of the ways to minimize or eliminate waste and pollutants at their source is to see what you are releasing down the drain. Cooking oil and fats should not be thrown into the drain. They can harden and block the pipes. In an open drain, the fats clog the soil pores, reducing its effectiveness in filtering water. Throw oil and fats in the dustbin. Chemicals like paints, solvents, insecticides, motor oil, medicines may kill microbes that help purify water, so do not throw them down the drain. Used tea leaves, solid food remains, soft toys, cotton, sanitary towels, etc. should also be thrown in the dustbin. These wastes choke the drains. They do not allow free flow of oxygen. This hampers the degradation process. Recapitulation Water is very important to support life. The availability of clean water is reducing day by day. Increasing population, pollution, industrial development, etc. are adversely affecting the availability of fresh water. Sewage is a liquid waste which causes water and soil pollution. Wastewater is treated in a sewage treatment plant. Lack of sanitation lead to various kinds of diseases. We should not defecate in the open. It is possible to have safe disposal of excreta by low-cost methods. We should practice better housekeeping practices to prevent water pollution. Children, now I will ask a few questions and I hope that you might be knowing the answers. My first question is fill in the blanks. And my first fill in the blanks is Treatment of water is a process of removing dash. And the right answer is pollutants. My next fill up. Lack of sanitation causes dash. And the answer is diseases. My next question, dash and dash are the two diseases which spread due to polluted water. So which are the two diseases? They are polio and diarrhea. My next question is, what is the function of bar screen in treatment of wastewater? Bar screens help to remove large objects like rags, sticks, cans, plastic packets, napkins, etc. My next question is, what is sewerage? Sewerage is a network of big and small pipes which transport sewage to the point of disposal, that is, treatment plant. My next question is, 
नेम एनी टू मेथड्स ऑफ बेटर हाउस कीपिंग प्रैक्टिसेस बेटर हाउस कीपिंग प्रैक्टिसेस आर कुकिंग ऑयल एंड फैट्स शुड नॉट बी थ्रोन डाउन द ड्रेन केमिकल्स लाइक पेंट्स सॉल्वेंट्स इंसेक्टिसाइड्स मोटर ऑयल मेडिसन्स मे किल माइक्रोब्स दैट हेल्प प्योरीफाई वॉटर सो डू नॉट थ्रो दैम डाउन द ड्रेन विद दिस वी कंप्लीट आर चैप्टर and i hope that you must have listened to the chapter carefully and understood it well children stay safe stay healthy keep learning and keep growing thank you